In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, boys and girls, and all those who sit in the comfort of their home, joining us in our celebration today, we gather to worship God. We gather to offer him our thanksgiving and praise for all he has been doing in our lives. In this Eucharistic celebration, we pray for all those who are in the front line of this coronavirus crisis, the medical doctors, those in leadership positions, that God will give them the wisdom to guide us in these trying times. We also pray the Almighty God to give us the grace of rekindling our family love, our, our family bond, and readiness to reconnect with him, our God and Lord, our Lord and God. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I've done, in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, our brother and master, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, this is your God, of Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord, his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent, he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth. Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. In all this land that I promised, I will give to your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your as people. You favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember, Remember us, us, O Lord, Lord as, as you favor your, your people. people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember, Remember us, O Lord, Lord, as you favor your, your people. people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, Lord as you, you favor, favor your, your people. people. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on behalf, on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf. And I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining light, lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish. These works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf, but you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have the, his words remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet, if anyone, if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses in whom you have placed hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear friends in Christ, as I was listening to our first reading taken from the book of Exodus, it reminds me of two things. One, the state of the life of the Israelites when they derailed from the ways of God and then built themselves a golden calf as their God. And that state of the people of Israel is our state today, is the kind of situation we find ourselves. Let me kind of go back a little. Before this particular moment in the historical life of the Israelites, they were in Egypt as slaves, and they cried out to the Almighty God. 
and God, because of the love and because of the promise he made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he came down with mighty hands and delivered the people. And in their own very eyes, God performed miracles upon miracles and saved them from the life, uh, saved them from the hand of Pharaoh. It was after witnessing these miracles from God, these wonders from God, after witnessing how much God cares about them, they came out in the desert and they built a golden calf. In our world today, that's what we see. Unfortunately, we have all built so many calves. We have all have our own gods. Some of us, because of our academic, um, because of what we have achieved academically, we stand and then kind of challenge God. Some of us, because of our political ideas, we build gods. Some of us, because of one interest or another, we now have all these mini gods that we worship. And we deny the God of the universe. Sometimes it is our, in a bid to satisfy bodily pleasure, we have our God. In a bid to assure ourselves of security, we have our mini gods. In our bid to have, um, to have happiness, to desire to get happiness, we have these mini-gods all over. So I want you to take time deep down in your heart to discover those gods. Anything in your life that compromises your relationship with God is a god. Anything in your life that stands between you and your relationship with God is that God God is talking about. You have built a golden calf in your life, and you have exchanged the worship of God for this golden calf. And God's anger is upon us. Unfortunately, in our time and age, we do not have the Moses we have in those times. On our own path, as men of God, as priests, we have failed, we have all sinned, and fallen short of the glory of God. Um, Moses was able to stand in the gap and plead with God. God, remember the promise you made to Abraham. Remember you, the promise you made to Jacob. Remember your promises. And God's anger was, God relented in his anger. Do we have priests? Do we have bishops? Do we have men of God who can stand in the gap for the people? That's the challenge we have today. But the good news is, we have a God that is always there for us. God, you are always there for us. We know that we have all sinned and fallen short of your glory. We ask for your mercy. We ask for your compassion. We ask for your forgiveness. We remind you of the promises you made to Abraham. We remind you of your words. You said in the Gospel of John, I will not in any way cast away he that comes to me. Eternal King of glory, we come to you as we are in our sinfulness, in our shortcomings, in our weakness. We ask for your mercy. We ask for your pardon. The coronavirus, we know we cannot do it. It is only by your help that we'll be saved from this scourge. We ask for your help. Psalm 1 to 1 says, From where shall my help come from? Our help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Lord, we know that you are the only one who can save us from this situation. So my dear brothers and sisters, on your own side, may we begin to put aside, may we begin to destroy all the golden cows in our lives. May we begin to reconnect ourselves to the all God, the very God who have, who out of love for us created us in the first instance. Think of the many times you prayed and God was there for you. Why will you turn around now because of your political position? Why will you turn around now because you desire happiness, you desire the satisfaction of the flesh? Why will we deny the glory of God for this golden calf? This is the time. This is a time of grace. This is a time to ask for forgiveness deep down within you 
May we sincerely seek the face of God. That's the way out. That's the way of salvation. That's the way of healing. That's the way of peace. That's the way of joy. That's the way of eternal life. I pray in this Eucharistic celebration that God, who answered the prayers of Moses, we hearken to our prayers today. May he accept our contrite heart. May he accept our humility. May he forgive us. May he heal the land. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we continue our Lenten journey, we bring our needs to the Lord with trust and confidence. For the church, during this Lenten season, may the Lord increase in us hearts for sharing in self-denial. Pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve either as elected or appointed authorities, may the God of wisdom bless them with the skills and gifts necessary for true servant leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick in our community, may the healing consolation of Christ be upon them and make them whole. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us assembled, may the steadfast love and mercy of God draw us ever closer to him through his life and death of Christ. His Son, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Charles Gruber, for whom this Holy Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Will now lead us in a prayer in times of pandemic. May we who are merely inconvenienced remember those whose lives are at stake. May we who have no risk factors remember those most vulnerable. May we who have the luxury of working from home remember those who must choose between preserving their health or making their rent. May we who have the flexibility to care for our own children when their schools close remember those who have no options. May we who have to cancel our trips remember those who have no safe place to go. May we who are losing our margin money, margin money in the tumult of the economic market remember those who have no margin at all. May we who settle in for a quarantine at home remember those who have no home. As fear grips our country, let us choose to love. During this time when we cannot physically wrap our arms around one another, let us find ways to be the loving embrace of God to our neighbors. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly God and Father, you, are, you once heard the prayers of your Son, Jesus Christ. Hear now our prayers and our petitions. May you strengthen our faith in you and our love for one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the Lord God Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us of our frailty from every evil and always grant us your protection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its reward through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, have an earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, o Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and all your people. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Thou the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace and love of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus Christ, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And the body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
May we now pray together as we make spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. O salutaris hostia, which elipan dis hostium, bella premiut hostilia, daro bofe hostilium. Unitrino que dominum, si sempiterna gloria, qui vita si eterminum, nobis donet in patria. Amen. Tantu mego sacramentum, venere muce nui, et antico documentum, no voce da ritui, preste fide supplementum, Sensum de fetui, genitori genitoque, la house jubilacio, 
Salus on a vitus quoque, sit et benedictio, procedenti habut roque, compassit laudatio. Amen. You have given them bread from heaven, having within it all sweetness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood Help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. 
all in heaven, above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Hark the loud celestial hymn, angels choirs above are raising. Cherubim and seraphim in unceasing chorus praising fill the heavens with sweet accord. Holy, holy, holy Lord, fill the heavens with sweet accord holy 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 lord